Hey there, thank you for joining me. In this episode, we're going to conclude the patch, the update, Fish and Drones. We still have a couple of blueprints to unlock. The most important one is the fish farm. Also in this episode, we're going to be taking a deeper look at automation, and we're going to take fully advantage of our drone helpers. So let's get into it. I kind of like the way the base looks right now, and everything is... I, I don't have any staircases at all. But anything is also accessible by teleporter. So the second floor is right there, and then the penthouse is all the way in the top. So I'm not really sure how to expand on the storage. I really don't want to mess the, the layout, the design up too much. So I will very likely build a storage here with all glass windows in it. I'm going to basically make it a 2x2. Two two. So... I want to kind of keep the, the general design, the general width of the layout, I should say. Same. So this is now a 2x2, two two, including these rooms here. So these are the two new big living compartments that I put down, so in total this is going to be a 4x4, four four, including those areas here. The plan is to put all the storage on the outside walls here, and put four crafters in the center. This is the dead center of those 2x2s, two twos. and hopefully that reaches all the way to the corner. I think it does, but I will have four other crafters. First things first though, I need to put some windows in there. I'm actually going to put down an ore extractor tier 3. Never thought I was going to do that here, but uh, let me turn this around. Because so, now you have this nice walkway here. I wasn't aware of that. If you'd actually hook him up, you have that really nice walkway. Uh, anyways, didn't think I was ever going to do that, but I'm going to need a lot of cobalt. All the windows, glass ceilings, and the glass floors. Uh, we need cobalt for that, so I figured I would put the one down real quick. Alright, so all the glass windows have been installed on the sides and also in the ceiling and the, and the floors. And now it's just a matter of uh, moving all the storage over here, along the walls. And in the middle of the room in the dead center, we will have some other crafters to really speed up that automation process. So I moved all the storage lockers to the edges of the room. And I put two other crafters here. I have a total of 35 storage lockers. It's basically 10 per corner. It's 5 plus 5, so that's 20, this makes 30, and this is 35, because there's no 5 here, otherwise it would have been 40. But I have 35 storage lockers. My other craft, as I check this, do not reach all storage lockers. So right now, these reach about 30 and 31 each. I don't think this is going to be an issue. Alright guys, little update. I labeled all the storage boxes. I wish I had more storage, because there's so many items in this game that, uh, yeah, even these 35 storage boxes over here are not sufficient for me to get all my items in. But, um, you can see that I labeled them. So what I've done is, if you, for example, look at the squash box, there's nothing in there right now. But it will demand squash. So right now, no box is actually telling the drones that they are supplying squash. So that's why the drones are not doing anything, and this box is empty. Most of the boxes are a mess. So, for example, this is the shrooms box, but there's no shrooms in here. It's all stuff that I kept moving around while I was reorganizing my storage. But all the boxes have been set up according to their label. So, um, we have eggplant here. There's no eggplant in the box, but this is demanding eggplant. Also, what I would like to show real quick is that when you set this up... Let me clear this out so I can show you. Because normally when you click on it, it goes back to the screen. It's really annoying. But if you want to set up more items, you hold the control key and you click on this, you can click on that. Uh, there was a rocket engine in there and there was one fourth item which was also electronic, which is the fusion energy cell. So you keep control clicking and then you have all four and you don't even have to click on this X, you can click right here. So that is set up for electronics. While I was reorganizing and moving storages around, I just dumped all these, these goods in there. So now you're thinking, well, that is really great. Because now you basically have to take these items and find the right box for it. Or you have to tell the drones, for example, in this box, you can supply magnesium. The drones will pick it up and will take it out. Because this is a nitrogen box, so everything else should be out of this box. Now, that is one way to do it, which is really a pain in the butt to go to the supply and all that stuff. Another way to do it is you create a box. And this is what I was requesting earlier in my series. I would love a box where you can dump everything in, and the drones, in this case, will reorganize it accordingly. So this box is a supply box, and it is set up for 
I think all the items that I was able to click, I, I noticed a little bit of lag when I was trying to do this, but this box is supposed to be the supply box. So whenever I dump in here, the drones will take it out and put it in the correct box accordingly, as long as there's room in there. So I, I put some items in here so we can actually test this. So I'm going to move that in there and that in there. You can see that the drone is assigned. It's going to pick this up. I'm not sure if this is going to be picked up, but you will see that this will disappear. Um, I can also do aluminum. So now you can see that the drones are coming because they were doing another shore, so it takes a little while sometimes. I can take some three barks, seats, and as long as there's room in this, you know, related box, then they will carry everything out and sort it accordingly. So this is absolutely brilliant. I just love this. The other thing that I was going to show is, for example, in the autocrafter, you want to set up the supply of all the items that you could potentially craft in there. So if you look at this, you know, there's some certain items that you cannot craft. You can still craft oxygen and water in there. Uh, water can only be crafted from ice, so I'm not sure how relevant that is. So whenever it's done crafting, the drones will pick it up automatically and put it in the, the related box. So you can do that with the other crafters. You cannot do it with the normal crafting because there's no option to set up supply and demand here, neither for this one. Um, but you can also do it for the silk generator. So I've set that up. Any silk that is produced is automatically taken out. You can also do it with the DNA manipulator. So if you ever research anything, you can also do it with the incubator. But also you can do it with, for example, the gas extractors. And you can even do it with these ore extractor tier two and tier threes. So right now I've told them all the metals are being pulled up here, pull them all in the storage inside. Nothing is being picked up because those storage boxes are full. So one of the things that I still have to do is because, as you know, uh, I have all my special metals extractors in specific spots like the osmium cave and the iridium cave. Let me go to the super alloy cave because that is the one that still needs a little bit of fine tuning. Because the super alloy cave will automatically create super alloy rods. In order to create a super alloy rod, it needs the super alloys themselves, but also one piece of aluminum. So I have aluminum storage here, but I haven't set that up yet. So I'm going to set that up, then I'm going to demand aluminum there. And priority 5, which is top priority. I will do the same here. Aluminum, priority 5. Because that's the most important spot for aluminum to go. I'm not sure how long it takes the drones to get here. But as soon as there, then there is aluminum, because right now it's not creating and crafting the super alloy rod because it doesn't have the aluminum so i can go outside i'm pretty sure that these are very likely full with super alloys yeah there you go so I have tons of super alloys laying here but i have no aluminum and that's why the super alloy rod is not crafted not as if we have a shortage of anything to be honest but you know you don't want to fine tune that so what's going to happen is while the storm is raging and the meteors are striking the drones are now slowly bringing the aluminum in here. It will automatically keep crafting because there's a whole stockpile of super alloys. So I have to set this one up to supply, which I already did apparently, super alloy rods. So this is completely automated. There's nothing you need to do. You basically don't even need to come here anymore to visit or whatever. The final blueprints of this patch have been unlocked. Namely, the fish farm, the seed lerma, and the common lava. Of course, the fish farm is the most interesting part of this all. So I already put stuff in my bag, so we can start making it. And I will also introduce you to the dock that I made outside. Unfortunately, it rains. But I decided to make a, a dock with a lot of uh, algae around it. Kind of give it a more of a positive vibe overall, I think. Oh. And the drone station is right here. Some beautiful fish tanks here, with some fish in it, a little bit of lightning for atmospheric purposes. But yeah, I was figuring, you know, a dock would be really nice. Unfortunately, I was thinking originally that it would be really cool if you could put these living compartment glass floors in, because then you could actually see through it. Um, I might leave that feedback for the developers, because I think that would be really awesome if you could just walk through here, especially if you have fish under there. And that is what we're going to do right now. So let me actually eat some food. Oh. 
Okay, let's see uh, what those fish farms look like. Alright, so let's put one here. Have some fish on me. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're all excited and they were actually on top of the water. Alright, so that looks pretty cool there. Of course, it's going to be really cool when we dive on the water, I think. Uh, let's put one here. Uh, use that one. I'm gonna surround this whole uh, this whole dock with fish. I think that would be awesome. Might have to swim a little bit here. That's okay. Let's use the wilderness. I don't know how far they spread, actually, to be honest. Uh, it's not too far, is it? That's a shame a little bit, but still looks awesome. But yeah, now you can see if you could make these glass walkways that, uh, yeah, that uh, would be stunning then. Okay, we have one more in our bag, so... Okay, I think that looks pretty cool. Also, I was thinking about putting a tree spreader here. Very likely a tree spread of tier 1. Because if I do a tier 3, then the trees will actually make it all the way to the base. And uh, yeah, that's not what I want. So I'll experiment with a tier 2 first. And then see if that is too wide. Oh, and then I will simply go to a tier 1. Coming back to the, the final three blueprints that we unlocked in this patch. The fish farm is awesome because it uh, creates a it generates a lot of animals. So it's 195 per second uh, standard. So depending on what kind of fish you put in there, that uh, is going to be multiplied. Uh, then the seed lerma, and I've been asking myself for a while, why why would it be interested in crafting seed lerma? The reason is, is that one of the rockets, the plants rockets, needs seed lerma to be launched. No clue why the common lava is important, because the other rocket, for example the insects, insects rocket, that requires bee larvae, and if you have uh, a couple of those uh, beehives standing around, then yeah, you you will get bee larvae for days, so there's not going to be a problem. So I don't really know, maybe further on in the game this is going to be an important larvae to have, but right now I don't see much of the point of it. So I'm kind of looking forward to the, the, the next expansion, the next patch. The next phase would be amphibians, and we have advanced 0.55% towards that stage, so that is going to take quite some time to be completed. But of course, a lot will be dependent on animals, I assume. So the more fish farms you have, the faster this will generate. We have really finished this expansion, I think. And let me actually show you this uh, supply container. So I know, because their drones are not picking this up. I have also 25 drones, I'm not sure if I mentioned that. But because they don't pick this up, I know that those storage boxes are full. Uh, the algae is not full. So there should be a whole bunch of drones coming soon. There you go. And they will all come. From there, there they're coming. <laughs> so yeah, they're gonna put that in the in the related storage box. So it's almost done. So yeah, for the rest, they are constantly uh, resupplying my the metals and minerals that I need. Um, it works really well, the system. I, I really like it. Well, let me show you what the base looks like. So you've seen this. This was part of this episode. The rearranging of the storage and the two uh, other crafters here. So they will craft whatever I need. Then I also changed this side of things. I put uh, a couple of incubators down, a, a decorative desk with a little screen there. I thought that was kind of nice. I have some plants standing around. Uh, for those that are not familiar with my base, let me actually go to the second floor. Uh, I don't have any stair... There's not a single staircase in my base. It's all um, the teleporters. So on the second floor you have the biodomes and you have also the where I generate the tree barks. So it is also automatically picked up. Everything is automated. So let me go to the penthouse. Again, the penthouse needs a little bit more work. I call it room with a view. I do want to put some effigies in here eventually, put some benches down, but uh, yeah, it's not super important. Um, I did create a basement because I didn't want the storage uh, next to the incubators. And I didn't want them next to the other crafters either. So I kind of hid them from sight in the basement. I also put some DNA manipulators here and a silk generator because they are not really super essential right now. Just want to say, you know, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this patch just as much as I did. 
And hopefully you guys will be there next time to see what we discover then. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.